Today we're going to change the oil on a 98 Nissan Frontier. These uh, styled oil pans are really odd. They look weird. They have a little bump. It's flat and then it dips down right there. So the first thing we're going to do is put our little pan into place. We're going to remove the oil filter. Which on this model is right down in there. I think you're just seeing the head of it. Right there. I'll get a better look for you. But if you're looking at the front of the vehicle, it's right below the air filter, basically. Come under here. It's really hard to get through, I'll tell you that. Luckily, this one's just hand tightened because otherwise, I can't even get a tool in here. It's right there. It's a pain in the butt spot. But, I'm gonna move my jack over a little bit. Let's get that oil filter off. So you can't even see my hand, let alone the oil filter. Taking it off right now. Oh, got it. And here it is. Right there. Now to remove the oil cap. Just set that right there. I didn't run the vehicle because it's 90 degrees and the oil's already thin. So now we can come under here and under our oil pan plug. So with a 14 millimeter socket wrench, I'm just gonna put it right on this plug down here from the oil pan. And oh shit. Ow. Ow. Ow, oh, that hurt. That took off some skin. Cool. Okay. Oh, that hurts a lot. Okay, take that socket wrench right off. Get your pin into place. And there you go. Let the oil flow. Oh, yeah, that hurt. So I jacked up the truck. Not only so you could see the oil pan that I'm working with, which is right here. Looks very odd. There's the transmission. But to let the oil drain better. This is the style pan that's better to lean the truck back. Because all the oil collects in the back, in the rear. Now if the, the plug was in the front, and you might want to lift the ass end up. But this one is perfect just to lean the truck right back. There's your oil. About four quarts of, has come out of the truck. It should take probably around four and a half, five. I'm not quite sure. I don't have the manual for this truck. So we'll do the estimate test. Let me just keep checking the dipstick and see what comes out of it. So I cleaned off the threads to my plug. I'm just gonna put that right in there. Hand tighten it. Then get your socket wrench and tighten it up. So here's the oil filter it takes. I have it right here. Now what I'm gonna do is the sun I have. I, the oil I have in the sun, so it pours easier, is I'm going to lube up the O-ring on that uh, oil filter so that we don't ruin it. Cuss with my finger, get the oil filter over, and just run it over the O-ring. There we go, ready for installation. So I lowered the truck, and I put in our new oil filter up there. If you can see it, it's the white thing right there. So now we're ready for our new oil, which is located right there, 5W30. So I got my funnel into place. Now we'll start pouring.
I put in about four quarts of oil. We're gonna let it sit. We have the dipstick out. And we're just gonna let it uh, level itself out. Stick the dipstick in and see where it's see where it is on the dipstick. You never want to have too little or too much oil. You could burn it or you could just seize the engine up. Well I ended up finding the manual. The only thing is it doesn't even tell you how much oil it takes. So I wanted to see if my estimate was right. Went onto the computer, said four and a half quarts. I don't know why the manual doesn't say it, but we got four in it right now. We're gonna see what it says at the dipstick just to make sure. So we ended up putting a little less than four and a half quarts in the Nissan. Got the plugs in, got the oil filter in, everything's all set, we're ready for another 3,000 miles. Sweet. We just ran the truck up the driveway, warmed it up, and you can see where the oil level is. It's right at that line. Perfect. Well done.